Let's look at your color controls. We have the standard color wheel and the value and saturation box in the top right. The ring around the box determines the chosen color or the hue. Inside the box on the left side, we have desaturated color. Shifting to the right increases the saturation. Lighter values are at the top, darker values towards the bottom. Instead of trying to match the color you need each time on the wheel, you can use the eyedropper tool to select a color that's already on the canvas. You can either switch to it using the shortcut I, or while you have your brush active, press and hold Alt to temporarily activate the eyedropper, tap to select the color, and when you release, it'll revert back to your previous tool. When you select the eyedropper tool on the left, you'll be able to set whether or not the color is picked only from the layer that you're on, or from the whole canvas. By default, it's set to pick from the entire canvas. You can also use the shortcut Control and Alt to color pick only from the layer that you're on. Up here, we have your foreground and background colors. You can switch between these by using the hotkey X or just by tapping this icon next to it. You can also set your colors to different tool presets here below the color wheel. This will allow you to easily switch between your favorite colors and tools. To lock a color into a preset, you'll first need to check the application settings under your edit menu and ensure that the use separate colors for each tool preset slot is ticked.